United 3 0 against Luton. That was crap for about 80 minutes. But overall, at the end of it, you've got to be happy, really. Not with our overall performance there. But let me know what you think about that in the comments below. The highlights clearly Dean Henderson, great save, clean sheet on his full debut for Manchester United. That's exciting. Van der Beek, I thought his off and on the ball movement way above all the rest of his teammates apart from Juan Mata. Great penalty from him. And the game changed when our subs came on. But the main point I think I want to make in that is just how bad our second eleven really still is. I mean, so many of those players that started that game, if they never played for United again, I wouldn't be that upset. Igalo, Lingard, Mata, Matic. <sighs> Man, our second 11 is, is so bad in comparison to our first 11. It is unreal. They may as well be two completely different teams. And you saw that with what happened when Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood came on. I always felt sorry for Van der Beek. That he got taken off just before they, got, they came on. But United need better players to compete at the highest level. We play a, almost a completely different style of football when you take our fast-paced attacking top quality attackers out of the team. And I suppose that's, that's obvious when you switch them with Mata and Di Gallo. Uh, but that has to change. But look, look at the positives of the game. Dean Henderson has got to be, for me, the main story. Henderson is the future of United in goal. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's our number one next season. I think next this summer coming, I think United should consider selling De Gea. 40, 50 million, I think, would be a, I don't know what, what would be a fair price for De Gea, but sell him, invest that in another player, or just not invest it at all, which is what United like to do when we sell big players. And Henderson is our future. Cracking save, didn't have much to do, but he saved it when called upon. And that's what the best goalkeepers in the world do. When they don't have much to do all game, and they go and pull saves out like that, that's what you want to see. And Van der Beek, look, his dummy for the, the matter charts in the first half was glorious, but... Just watching him play football, he plays differently to how Manchester United's players play. He looks for the spaces in a different way. He receives the ball in a different way. He's schooled differently. And you can see that in how he plays. And I really want to see how Solskjaer gets a starting eleven that has Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba in the same team together. I don't know what that will be, but I think he's got to find it. I really, really do. And the other main talking point for me has to be the last 10 minutes and what happened when Mason Greenwood, Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford came on, the game switched. And look how good it was. Rashford there getting a goal that he really, really needed. Player down on his confidence, a player not really playing like how he used to uh, prior to the injury and then what happened with the lockdown. But Rashford needs goals back in his game. That one tonight hopefully will be the start of a glut from him. And Mason Greenwood, man. Mason Greenwood. Kid's 18, and you, you almost expect him to score every time he's in the box with the ball on his left or his right foot. It doesn't really matter to him. He's just, he's a different gravy. He really is completely above where he should be at that age. And it's not just the, the random goals that he scores. It, it, it's, it's the utter, utter composure and confidence in his own ability that that's going to find the bottom corner. And nine times out of ten, it does. So to see United attacking us, but look, even Lingard was better when um, all the other players came on because he's more suited to that faster style of play. But Lingard may well be the last time he plays for United, may well be the last time he starts for United, for sure. Spurs won him, apparently. I'll be speaking to uh, Rob Dawson from ESPN, if you're watching until this point. Now you know that. I'll be speaking to him tomorrow and I'm going to ask him about Lingard, so that'll be an interesting one. But United there tonight, the only job that we needed to do was beat Luton. It wasn't a game where things were going to immediately change and if we win 3 or 4 nil, that Solskjaer is the best manager in the world and we don't need any new signings. That result doesn't change anything. Losing that result would have cranked the pressure up. But it was a bit of a lose-lose situation for United there in, in the, winning the game. Now nah, you're expected to lose the game. You're going to get vilified. But we don't need to vilify tonight. I think we saw how bad our start, our second starting eleven was again. Igalo is just, he's just not good enough to be for United. That the Igalo buzz has gone, and I suppose the best moment in his United career is going to be that goal he scored in front of an empty crowd away at Lask, which is a shame for him. But he's not good enough to play for United anymore. I'm not sure he ever was, 
Jesse Lingard's not good enough. Juan Mata's not good enough. Nemanja Matic, for me, still, in the long term, is not good enough. Our second eleven is terrible. It really, really is. There's no way to describe it. I think, I suppose, a shout-out to Bai for not getting injured. Uh, Bai, for me, on paper, still looks like the best, second-best centre-back at the club. I, I would like to put Tuan Zebe there, but his injuries have basically stopped me from getting that assessment. I can only assess him, really, on what he did at Aston Villa, which was very good when he got promoted. But United need a centre-back. It is as simple as that. We've got a couple of weeks left in the transfer window. Upamecano or whoever we've been linked to. Nothing's really materialised there so far, so let's see what develops there. And right wing, we still clearly need Jaden Sancho. Imagine United starting eleven had Sancho in, and then we had Greenwood to come off the bench. That would be a transition where the style of United's play wouldn't change that much because both qualities, both players, sorry, share the same qualities. The problem with United starting at eleven at the moment is when you take one out and you put a different player in, it almost jars with the system, and it doesn't really work. But Mason Greenwood. What a player. Dean Henderson, he's got a clean sheet on his debut. Van der Beek, I'm excited to see how Solskjaer gets him in that starting 11. Rashford's got a goal. 3-0 through to the fourth round. You've got to be happy with that. Who is your man of the match and what's your overall feelings from that performance? But who is it next? I think it's Brighton. We better not lose to Brighton.